What is up guys welcome back to a brand new video and today we are going to be talking about the deadline transfer rumors. It's going to be a very short video. I'm very short on time especially because I just started school. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Alright, we're going to start off with Ross Barkley was having a medical at Chelsea and supposedly in the middle of his Chelsea uh, medical he was like, oh... I don't want to join Chelsea anymore and he wanted to stay at Everton and that's basically all that happened. Apparently Alexis Sanchez was going to join Manchester City for 50 million or 55 million and Arsenal were going to let him go but then Lamar supposedly uh, Monaco didn't want to let him go to Arsenal for 92 million I think it was because um, they didn't have they thought that they wouldn't have enough time to finalize the transfer so uh, Monaco said no to Arsenal and Arsenal said no to Manchester City basically so Sanchez allowed Alexis Sanchez is basically stuck at Arsenal at least until the winter. Alex Oxley chamberlain has joined Liverpool for I don't know how much, I think it was 35 million. 35 million to Liverpool. I think he's going to do great there. He doesn't want to play as a right wing back. Obviously, he's a great player in my opinion. He's done very, very well for Arsenal recently. And I think he's going to slot into that midfield. Maybe instead of Wijnaldum, maybe instead of Henderson. I think Emery Chan should keep his spot. Even though Wijnaldum and Chan were great against Arsenal, I think uh, Oxley chamberlain can definitely fit into their team, excuse me, and Oxlade is going to add that depth that Liverpool do need this season, especially since they're going to be competing in the Champions League and the Premier League. Spurs did sign uh, Fernando Llorente from Swansea. Is that a good signing? I'm not sure. They have Jansen, they have Kane. I think Jansen might have left Spurs, uh, but Kane is definitely not going to let uh, Fernando Llorente into the starting 11, uh, but I think Fernando Llorente could be good for cup games or maybe even the Champions League, something like that. I don't know. He's a very experienced Spanish striker, kind of a target man style striker. So we're going to see how he does for Spurs. Antonio Conte's Chelsea have signed Zappa Costa from Torino, or right wing back. A lot of people said, what is this guy doing? What is Conte doing? Why is he signing someone so random? And I thought the same thing. This dude is like barely a goal on FIFA. I know I'm not, I'm not basing my opinion, but I'm just saying. So... He was bare, he's barely gold on FIFA. Marcos Alonso at the start of the year was barely gold on FIFA as well. So you can kind of compare them if you, if you think about it. They're both uh, kind of wing back players and they both play in the Calcio. They both played in the Calcio. Uh, Marcos Alonso used to play for Fiorentina and Zappa Costa used to play for Torino. Uh, but Zappa Costa has joined Chelsea for 23 million, which is a ridiculous amount for such a, you know, player that's not very known and recognized. And Chelsea also have signed Danny Drinkwater uh, from Leicester City which is a great, great signing in my opinion, but I don't know how much he's going to play. I don't know if he's going to be able to fight for his spot. We'll just have to see. Divock Origi has joined Wolfsburg on a season-long loan deal. Very, very good for him. Liverpool losing a striker, which is not that bad, I guess. I mean, they do need kind of depth, but they don't really need Origi. Let's be kind of completely honest. And Liverpool also have lost Mamadou Sako to Crystal Palace for £30 million. Serge Aurier has joined Spurs as well. Great signing for them, kind of replacing Kyle Walker, and I think he's going to do incredible in the Premier League. And last but not least, we have Kylian Mbappe to PSG. An amazing signing. Di Maria, Draxler. Haddon Ben Arfa, who barely plays, uh, Cavani, Neymar, dude, that team is going to be ridiculous. If they don't win the Champions League, then that's just too bad. They should win the champ. They should be a contender for the Champions League against Real. So I can see a Real PSG final, maybe semi-final, something like that. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna see if PSG have the caliber of players, which I think they do now, uh, to win the Champions League. And yeah, man. Mbappe to PSG is going to be incredible on a season-long loan deal and with an obligation to buy for 180 million pounds or 180 million euros, sorry, uh, at the beginning of 2018. So guys, this will be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the welcome and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a fantastic day.